Have you ever pondered on the things in life you should always keep private? The answer may surprise you. In this ever-connected world, privacy is a commodity often overlooked, yet it wields unimaginable power. It's the cloak that shields us from the prying eyes of the world, the sanctuary where our true selves flourish and the fortress that safeguards our peace and well-being. Imagine, for a moment, a world without privacy, a world where every thought, every emotion, every personal detail is laid bare for all to see. It's a daunting prospect, isn't it? That's why some aspects of our lives should remain private, hidden away from the uninvited scrutiny of others. From your wealth to your weaknesses, from your future goals to your past mistakes, there are certain things that are best kept under wraps. So, why is privacy so important and what are those things you should always keep private? Let's delve into the 12 things in life you must always keep private. Firstly, always keep your wealth private. Now, why is this so vital? Imagine a world where every person wore their bank balance on their foreheads. It'd be a hotbed for envy, comparison and unwanted attention, wouldn't it? That's exactly the kind of world you'd be living in if you didn't keep your wealth under wraps. Your financial status, whether you're a millionaire or just scraping by, is your own business. Flaunting it or discussing it openly can trigger a cascade of unnecessary pressures. It can lead to strained relationships, attract opportunistic individuals, or even put you in the crosshairs of those with ill intentions. Remember, the value you bring to the world isn't determined by the size of your bank account. Your worth is not your wealth. Life isn't a competition of who can accumulate the most. It's about the experiences you've had, the lives you've touched, and the person you've become. In essence, your wealth is your business alone. Next up, your personal life. A sphere of existence that should remain as private as possible. This includes your relationships, family disputes and personal struggles. The reason is simple. Privacy is the guardian of freedom. It allows you to be yourself, without fear of judgment or misunderstanding. Your relationships, for instance, are a sacred space between you and the other person. Sharing too much could invite unnecessary opinions and even fuel gossip. It's similar with family issues. They are sensitive matters that need respectful handling, not public scrutiny. And then there are personal struggles. These are your battles, your lessons to learn. Sharing them indiscriminately might lead to unsolicited advice or even pity, neither of which are helpful in the long run. In essence, preserving the privacy of your personal life is about preserving your peace and freedom. It's about maintaining boundaries that protect your authenticity. Remember, your personal life isn't a public spectacle. Thirdly, your future goals. Now, this might come as a surprise to some, but there's a certain power in keeping your goals and ambitions close to your chest. You see, when we publicize our future plans, we inadvertently open ourselves up to unnecessary scrutiny, unsolicited advice, and even sometimes the ill wishes of naysayers. It's also worth noting that talking excessively about our goals can create a false sense of accomplishment reducing our motivation to actually achieve them. Keeping them private, on the other hand, allows us to focus on the journey, to relish in each step we take towards realizing our dreams without the noise of external opinions. It gives us the room to adjust our sails, to change our course if need be, without the fear of judgment or criticism. Remember, the value of a goal lies in its achievement, not in its announcement. After all, actions speak louder than words. Fourth, your good deeds. We as humans are naturally inclined to seek recognition for our good actions. However, there's an inherent beauty in doing good deeds in silence, in keeping them private. It's a practice that fosters humility, nurtures the soul and promotes genuine compassion. When we do good deeds without the expectation of praise, we're doing them for the right reasons, not for validation or applause. Think about it this way. A tree doesn't seek applause when it bears fruit. It simply does what it's meant to do without any thought of recognition. Similarly, when we perform good deeds silently, we're acting out of pure kindness without any ulterior motive. Moreover, maintaining privacy around your good deeds prevents them from becoming a source of ego or pride. It keeps you grounded, reminding you of your humanity and your capacity for altruism. Ultimately, good deeds are most meaningful when done secretly. Fifthly, your family's wealth. 
This is a topic that might seem straightforward, but its significance cannot be overstated. It's a common misperception that discussing your family's financial status is merely a matter of etiquette. However, it's much more profound than that. The wealth of your family is a private affair. It's an intricate tapestry woven from generations of hard work, smart decisions, and perhaps a sprinkle of good fortune. Sharing this information casually can lead to a myriad of unwanted situations. It may create unrealistic expectations, breed resentment, or even expose your family to those with ill intentions. Remember, financial details are not a gauge of a person's worth. Your family's wealth does not define you any more than your own wealth does. It's simply a part of the bigger picture, a part of your family's story that doesn't need to be shared with the world. In conclusion, your family's wealth, like your own, is a private matter. Sixth on our list, your grudges. Grudges, those bitter feelings we harbor towards certain individuals or events, can weigh us down, stifling our growth and happiness. Now, imagine sharing these grudges with others. It's like spreading this negative energy, isn't it? Instead of reducing the burden, it amplifies it, affecting not only you, but also those around you. Furthermore, openly discussing grudges can lead to misunderstandings and conflicts. It can strain relationships and create an atmosphere of resentment and hostility. Instead, we suggest keeping your grudges private. Use them as a tool for self-reflection and personal growth. Ask yourself why you hold these grudges and what you can learn from them. Remember, life is too short to hold on to negativity. By keeping your grudges private, you're allowing yourself the opportunity to let go, to forgive, and to move on. This, my friends, can lead to a healthier and happier life. Grudges held are burdens carried. Seventh, your weaknesses. We all have them, those chinks in our armor that make us human, that make us who we are. But there's a sense of vulnerability attached to our weaknesses, a chink in the armor that could be exploited if it falls into the wrong hands. It's not about hiding, it's about protecting. Imagine, if you will, a chess game. You wouldn't willingly reveal your strategy to your opponent, would you? The same principle applies here. Your weaknesses are like your secret game plan. They are parts of you that need work, need strengthening, Sharing them indiscriminately might just give someone the opportunity to use them against you, to checkmate you in this game of life. However, this doesn't mean you should ignore or deny your weaknesses. Acknowledge them, work on them, but do so privately. Let your growth be a private journey, a testament to your resilience. Your weaknesses are your own to conquer. Eighth, your secrets. Now let's delve into the realm of the concealed, the hidden, the unspoken. Secrets. We all have them, and rightly so. Your secrets are the gold nuggets of your identity, the unique aspects that make you, well, you. They are the building blocks of your individuality, and hence they should remain just that, secret. Imagine a book, a fascinating book with an intriguing plot, but one where the conclusion is revealed in the first chapter. That's a secret shared prematurely. It takes away the intrigue, the mystery, and the allure. Sharing secrets can often lead to a loss of control, as once they're out there, you can't reel them back in. You expose yourself to potential harm, judgment, or manipulation. It's like giving someone a key to a door that perhaps should have remained locked. So guard your secrets well, keep them close, for they are precious. A secret shared is no longer a secret. Ninth, your beliefs. In this diverse world, our beliefs are as varied as the stars in the sky. They can be deeply personal, a reflection of our experiences and the essence of who we are. But they can also be a catalyst for unnecessary debates and conflicts. We live in an era of openness, where sharing is encouraged, sometimes to the point of oversharing, yet there is wisdom in maintaining a certain level of privacy, especially when it comes to our beliefs. By keeping them private, we can avoid the potential for misunderstanding and disrespect that often arises from discussions about deeply held convictions. Remember, your beliefs are not a debate topic. They are not something to be picked apart, analyzed, or criticized by others. They are your guiding light, your moral compass, your source of strength and hope. They belong to you and you alone. Your beliefs are your own to hold. Tenth, your medical history. Now, this is a topic that requires a touch of sensitivity. It's about your health, your well-being, and ultimately your life. Everyone has a health story, a narrative filled with trials, triumphs, and sometimes tribulations. It's a part of your identity, but it's also something deeply personal. In our era of oversharing, it's vital to understand that your medical history is not a story for the world. It's something that should be shared on a need-to-know basis. Why? Well, for starters, it can lead to unnecessary judgment or bias. 
It's also about protecting your emotional space. Discussing health issues can be emotionally draining, especially if you're continually explaining or defending yourself. Moreover, in the wrong hands, this information can be misused. Data privacy is a serious concern in the digital age. So always be cautious about who has access to such intimate details about your life. Your health is a very personal matter. Very. Eleventh, your mistakes. We all stumble, we all fall, and yes, we all make mistakes. It's a part of being human. But here's something to ponder on. Should we broadcast our mistakes to the world? The answer is a resounding no. Not because we should deny them or hide from them, but because they are personal stepping stones to growth, not public spectacles. Mistakes are intimate learning experiences. They are our private teachers. When we expose them to the world, we risk them being misunderstood, misinterpreted, and even used against us. Instead of announcing them, we should embrace them privately. We should dissect them, understand them, and most importantly, learn from them. Remember, it's not about the mistake itself, but how we rise after falling. It's about the lessons learned, the growth experienced, and the wisdom gained. So keep your mistakes to yourself and let your actions show your growth. Mistakes are stepping stones, not public announcements. Finally, your sins. The wrongs you've committed, the mistakes you've made, they're a private part of your life. It's an uncomfortable truth that we all sin, we all falter, we all stumble. It's part of being human. But these sins, these transgressions, they're not for public consumption, they're not for the world to dissect, to judge or to ridicule. Instead, these are moments for self-reflection and growth. They should serve as private lessons, teaching us about our weaknesses and guiding us towards becoming better versions of ourselves. By keeping our sins private, we maintain our dignity and self-respect. We avoid the unnecessary judgment of others and keep the focus on our personal journey of repentance and self-improvement. Remember, it's not about hiding these sins, but rather about dealing with them in a personal, introspective manner. Your sins are yours to repent, not for the world to judge. In conclusion, privacy is a priceless commodity. As we've journeyed through the 12 domains of life that demand discretion, it's become abundantly clear that privacy isn't merely a preference, but a necessity for a harmonious existence. We've discussed the importance of guarding your wealth, not for the sake of hoarding, but to maintain your peace of mind and to avoid unnecessary scrutiny. We've talked about the value of preserving the sanctity of your personal life, keeping your future goals to yourself until they're realized and the nobility of carrying out good deeds in silence. We've touched on the wisdom of keeping your family's wealth under wraps, the maturity of concealing your grudges and the strength that comes from protecting your weaknesses from the public eye. We've emphasized the prudence of safeguarding your secrets, the respect that comes with quietly holding your beliefs, and the dignity in keeping your medical history confidential. We've also explored the humility of acknowledging your mistakes privately, and the virtue of keeping your sins between you and your conscience. Each of these 12 elements we've discussed holds a unique dimension of privacy that, when respected, contributes to a more balanced, peaceful, and authentic life. Privacy, in essence, is a fortress, a shield that protects the core of our individuality and the sanctity of our inner world. It's a boundary we establish to protect our peace and personal space. It allows us to navigate through life's journey with dignity and authenticity, without having to constantly defend or explain ourselves. Maintaining privacy doesn't mean we're hiding something. It simply means that we understand the value of our inner world. It promotes self-respect, boosts our self-esteem, and contributes to a healthier mental and emotional state. It's a form of self-care, a way to honor our personal boundaries and respect the boundaries of others. In a world where oversharing has become the norm, let's dare to be different. Let's strive for balance, for wisdom, for respect for our own and others' privacy. Remember, some things are best kept private. After all, privacy is the cornerstone of a peaceful life.